it was good. I wasn't uh, I wasn't as amped up as I thought I would be for the whole thing. I actually thought I threw quite a few good shots. Um, I just got I just got behind the other guys. Um, we made the decision early to go with uh, the pin up uh, hypercell and stay a little further right and try to use the hold. But unfortunately, the hold went away before practice was done. So uh, those guys started moving left, and I just didn't move with them. So it kind of I got caught behind and. The moves were too late by the time, and I mean, when these guys got front six, I mean, what are you going to do when I've got a hole early and, and a couple spares up there? It's tough to catch up from that point. So. It, man, it felt it felt great. You, you know, I, I was very nervous in the beginning. You know, and that, that that shot in the third frame, my hands were sweating so bad, it just kind of slipped off. And I just told myself to, you know, just stay down and make good shots. And it feels it feels amazing. I've been looking for this feeling for a long time, and today it finally happens. Yeah. Uh, well, today on the show, um, I was throwing the Marvel S a lot in practice, and I changed to the the IQ Tour Nano, and I felt like it was, you know, I turned to Dell and I kind of told my Dell, I said, I think this is the right one. The other one was just a little too, it was a little too jerky off the spot. And then, you know, um, Timmy helped me a lot this week, you know, early on in qualifying. You know, because with so many, you know, Storm staffers, you know, Dell and the other guys, you know, they had to be with the, you know, their national staff players, which is totally fine with me. Because me and Timmy, you know, kind of like what we talked about before, Timmy and I have, a, you know, a very good relationship. So, uh, you know, but uh, today Dell was there and, you know, he kind of whispered over into my ear before we started the show and he said, go with your gut. So that's kind of what I did. You know, I, I just went with the IQ ball. I mean, earlier when I was throwing it in practice, I turned and looked at Schlimmer and I said, man, I feel like I can throw it to lane eight and it hooked back to lane four. You know, so I felt very comfortable with the ball. It's just, you know, I just had to make good shots. You know, she pushed me, she pushed me so hard growing up and this is all she ever wanted. So I felt like today was a really, really good spot for, you know, she was, um, she was looking over me and, you know, all, all I could do was just look up at her and tell her thank you and you know that's that's really about it so I'm glad she was there I'm glad she was there to see it because I felt like she was there with me especially in the 10th frame when I knew I needed to throw some good shots and that's what happened well um it was like one of my kids are bowling I mean I hate to say it like that I know it sounds cliche and, and and corny but my heart was pounding so hard in the 10th frame I turned around and looked at Jim Callahan I said my heart is beating hard I said harder than 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 normal and so it was really fantastic to watch him step up out there and uh, get the first two in the tenth and and pretty much lock him out. That was great, fantastic. Jim Callahan and I were watching DJ practice, and we hit his ball with a thousand pad, hit his ball again with a thousand pad, and he goes, "I just feel like my ball keeps going longer and longer and longer." I said, "You got to wipe the oil off of it." So he grabs his normal towel, and I said, "That won't do it because the blue oil seems to want to carry down quicker and." and act like there's more oil down the lane. So I had Jim go down to my backpack and grab him one of the uh, wipe it towels and from Master. And as you can tell, it's got blue oil on it, but it removes all the oil off of it, and all of a sudden his ball started hooking every shot. So that you know allowed him to get the ball to the right, and, and it wasn't acting like there was a lot of carry down down the lane. Well, it's the IQ Nano, IQ Tour Nano, and um, it's about a five and a half inch pin for, for DJ, no hole. And the reason why it really worked, because he was using a Marvel S, which is a stronger cord, very similar cover, bowling ball. But he seemed to, every time we scuffed it, it made it a little jerky, a little too strong. And we needed something that was just a little bit a step down off of the same ball. And that's exactly what the uh, IQ Nano core is, is a step down off the Marvel S core. And the cover is very similar, and it just really matched up well. He has the same, almost identical layout in a Marvel S.